flowers, it's Risa Friend. I'm back with another video. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? Poo, period. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so this is all about this cheap unit or hair unit that I made. Made by Huma. <laughs> <laughs> and this hair is from AliExpress. This is from Funky Girl here on AliExpress. So if you want to see how I made this unit really quick, I didn't really show you a tutorial. You want to see like the coloring and just the lay down of this and my thoughts will be in the end. Make sure that you continue to watch. If you are interested in baddie of all trades vibes, my name is Risa Fleur and I'm here to give it to you. So we're doing fashion, hair, makeup, and everything you could think of, nails included on this channel. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel make sure you hit that bell for notifications so that anytime I upload a video you get notified go ahead and thumbs up this video comment down below and share this video with your friends let's get right into it you guys okay you guys we're gonna get straight into making this unit I'm using a spandex stone cap and here are the bundles and the front two 20 inch 22 24 26 period so I put the ball cap the ball cap I'm lying I put the dome cap on the on the um, the mannequin head and now I'm just placing the front so where we need to be in order for us to uh, lay it down onto this um, this cap now this cap for some reason I don't know why this cap was pretty snug um, and I didn't put it down far, far at all as you can see so I don't know what's going on with this brand I usually use it but whatever so in order to uh, sew down the frontal I'm just going to twist the frontal the hair of the frontal on the sides that kind of like bantu knot in a way really sloppy but that's what you see me doing right now um pretty simple pretty easy um I mean what more is there to say about it okay um, so now what I'm doing is I'm just sewing the frontal down and when I usually sew I always do the wrap around method or the knot method or whatever this method is called now I have made wigs for you guys in the past but if you're newer to the channel you may be and you've never seen me make a wig or how I make a wig I mean I'm pretty I think it's pretty standard but if you would like to see me do a full detailed tutorial on how I make a unit please let me know down in the comments and I will be certain to do it for you guys okay but yeah so what I'm doing now is just going straight across until it is all finito okay so now I'm going in with the longest bundle of course unless you're doing an asymmetrical bob of some sort the longest bundle always goes at the bottom so I'm just pinning that and I like to kind of like do my first track kind of underneath that cap and you never want to sew in the elastic you always want to sew on the fabric that's above it because you want to make sure that it has all the stretch that it can possibly have on that elastic band part especially if you have a big head like mine okay so it's really really important you guys so I'm just going across and while you're going across you just want to make sure that that last um, stitch you're going to do, you're going to uh, kind of, uh, how do you say, you're going to knot it. So I'm going to double wrap it at least like five times, which you're about to see in just a second. And one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So I did five. And then when I'm bringing it back across, I do that same five knot on that weft on top. And then I just keep going back and forth and back and forth until that bundle's done. And then you add the next bundle. And basically, yeah, so this is how the wig looks while it's done. Um, you can see the hair. I'm just showing you how the ends of the hair look. And now I'm just showing you some of the stitching. Oh, we love some beautiful stitching, you guys. So after that, I'm just going to start cutting off the excess part of the cap. So that's what you see me doing right now. So once I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin it back down because now it's time for me to add the highlights and do the coloring and stuff like that. Okay, so I could not find any gloves because it's a pandemic and like, 
I've been using them all. I thought I had more, but I didn't. So I'm using this bag because I don't want to get that bleach on my hand. That itchy feeling when you get bleach on your hand is there for like hours. I hate that. It's like it gets into your skin. I really do hate that. So I decided to go in and just do several parts of it. Now I was going to go a little bit blonder, but I decided to wash it out a little bit before because I decided that I wanted it to be browner highlights instead of blonder highlights. Um, I don't know. I just thought it would have been a cuter look for the fall or whatever like that. So I'm just picking random spots in the hair and literally just putting it over there, putting it. And I use the 40 developer and the B&W uh, bleaching powder. So that's what I'm using to get this color right now. Okay, so I decided to ombre a little bit of it at the end, and that's how it looks while it's done. So I'm gonna take the wig off and I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the knots. Now what I did was whatever was left over, I just added some more B&W powder to make it thick, and that's the consistency that I got. I tend to be an over bleacher, but it's something that I keep doing um, kind of on purpose in a sense, because Malibu doll face, like what, the way he does it, he like over bleaches so that it comes up, and it just looks super natural when it's laying down. In my opinion, that is the best way, so I kind of like want it to seep through a little bit, but not too much. I know that's weird, but but yeah, I'll show you what I do for the parts where I kind of went too ham on the over bleaching. So once that's done, this is how the unit looks with all the color. I actually love that brown color. It's giving me beautiful fall with the dark. I don't know. I just love it. I have already put on my ball cap. And honestly, I'm going to put this ball cap in the um, description box because I get 20 for like $7, you guys. Um, I get it from Amazon. So that's going to be linked down below as well. So make sure you check them out because I mean, $7, 20 caps, that's not bad. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm cutting off the cap. I have a smaller forehead, so sometimes it gets a little tricky, and I sometimes have the cap coming out underneath the wig. It's just a lot. It's, I'll be going through. I'll really be going through stuff. <laughs> like I really be in turmoil. All right, so now I'm just grabbing my foundation, um, and I'm just putting that on. Usually, I just tint the lace, but I don't know. I just wanted to go the foundation route, um, and I did put some on the cap just to make sure that it would, because that lace was just so light, I wanted to make sure that it meshed in with my hair, because that's how you get that pretty cute meltdown period. Okay? Okay! <laughs> you know, I'm really annoying. All right, so I'm putting the unit back on after that, and that's the second layer of glue. I usually do two or three layers. I think this is only the second layer, and this glue is also a glue that I found on Amazon. I'll link this down below. It's some off-brand, but it works just as good as Boho, and y'all, it was only 12 the fuck dollars. Okay, period. $12? Oh. <laughs> $12? Oh, period. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, this thing is stuck. Like, I could not get this wig off. So, we love it. We stand it. We love it. All right, so what you see me doing now is I'm just trying to grab out some baby hairs. I don't want too many baby hairs on this wig. I just kind of wanted, like, three little cute moments. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but that's what they're going for. Yes, yes, yes. So now I'm just cutting off those ear tabs. Um, I did that on both sides, but I'm doing that after I pulled down everything because I like my ear tabs to be a little bit on a diagonal, if that makes any sense, so that the sideburns come down where I want them to on the unit. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my um, elastic band to tie it down. I did my middle part off camera and now I'm back after it being tied down for about a half an hour. Uh, maybe a little less um, and now what I do to fix some of those over bleach knots or like when it goes too far up I'm just going in with a spoolie brush and I just color the spoolie brush with a black um, eyebrow pencil and just you know put it over wherever I see it's too light and honestly that won't come out until you wash it out so it's perfect you guys so I started cutting off the lace and as you can see there's a little spot where you kind of see um, that cap coming out but i do go ahead and fix that off camera i gotta get in the, in the bathroom mirror for that you guys so i couldn't do that on camera but i had to like kind of cut around it I, i'm telling you my forehead is weird i'm telling you 
all right so once i did the other side i'm just going to go in with some water you guys um curly hair loves water i have not put a comb to this at all only for like the top to flatten it i'm just putting water in my nairobi setting foam and i'm just going to put it all through the hair to keep that curl to keep it look giving that moist exotic look <laughs> But you know, black women are exotic no matter what kind of hair we have because we the only hair that touches the sky, okay? That reach for the sky. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so this is how much I got shed, um, shedding on that one half. I'm going in a little bit with the hot comb. You don't want to go in too much because it's wet. It's kind of wet and you don't want to burn it. You don't want to send your hair off. You, that's just not what we're going for. <laughs> we're not trying to singe the unit, okay? Um, so I'm just going back in with that curl. I'm trying to make sure I get the ends as well. Um, as you can see, cause I want it and that's more shedding. I did get a little bit of shedding on this one, but again, this hair is super cheap. So like, I can't be mad at it. Um, that is my wax stick. So I'm just going to like comb it down just on the top to make sure it stays nice and smooth. I'm going to tuck it behind my ear because I love that tuck behind the ear look. It's always giving you vibes. And you know, that's pretty much that on that on that, you guys. I'm gonna do my makeup, and this is the final look of how the unit looks when it's kind of like dried a little bit. The curls are super defined. I really do love this unit. I love how I did this. I love the color, it is everything. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about this unit and what I think, like what are my thoughts and all of that. Okay. So this hair is from Funky Girl Hair via AliExpress, Funky Girl Hair Store. This is the car that they sent with it. Anyway, so this is the hair. This hair was super inexpensive. And um, I got it because I wanted it to have it for like a cute little weekend getaway. I don't wear my wigs for too, too long. So I don't mind the fact that it was a little bit on the inexpensive side. So here's what I think about the hair. Okay, so what I got was the, I believe this is the Brazilian Wet and Wavy. This is a 20 inch frontal, 13 by four frontal, 22 inch, 24 inch, and then a 26 inch bundle. So this is three bundles. Now, when I ordered, I mistakenly thought I bought four bundles. I mean, it's not thin, but you know, I like my hair a little thick than this but it's it, it's not thin it's just i am annoying and i just like super thick hair but i think it's really cute it's really soft now um i did show you guys like when i was like combing i was finger combing the hair i haven't i didn't use a brush in this hair i didn't even use a comb in this hair only on the top to like kind of get it flattened down and i did get a lot of strands especially when i was washing it did shed now that i'm running my fingers through it i'm not really getting any snags just a few nothing too crazy uh, just a snag there and then I just got one strand just now when I just did that um, Now the thing about the frontal is the frontal does not feel like it's 20 inches as opposed to the rest of it like the frontal is giving me Bob and Honestly, I don't like that. I think that this is not 20 inches. Um, I'm be honest. I highly doubt that this is a 20 inch frontal. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't look bad, but I just feel like this is giving me 16 to 18 vibes and they tried to play me. Um, but the hair was only $140, maybe a hundred, the hair was only $150, you guys. So, I mean, hey, 26 inches, three long bundles and a frontal for $150, like you can't really go wrong. I love the curl pattern. This hair is super, super soft. Put these little highlights in just to give it a little bit of color. I was going to go blonder than this, but then I changed my mind. I wanted it to be like this reddish brownish kind of look because it's fall. And I didn't want it to be like super blonde. But the front gave me that blonde, that blonder look that I wanted, but still brown. I don't know. It just gave me what I want. Um, if you are interested in ordering some really cheap bundles for your quick little getaway or just because you just want to throw some nice and cute ones on, I do actually recommend this. Um, I just wish that this part like the ends like i feel like this is super thin like you know what i mean i feel like the ends frayed out a lot you get what i'm saying like so it's like but it's cheap hair and it's a cute moment it's a cute vibe you know for your cute little moment your cute little weekend a week or two take it off week or two take it off so that is the gist of that thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to join that flower gang 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 by liking commenting sharing and subscribing to my youtube channel i'll see you guys in my next video bye